there's something about Apex that's just felt off in the recent seasons. And it's hard to pinpoint exactly why that is, because Apex has undergone quite a lot of changes in the recent seasons, and it seems like even more changes are on the way, because some weird things have been cropping up in the game and from leaks that I thought we should talk about and discuss in the comments, because Apex might be getting pretty weird in some of these future updates. And first of all, there was a glitch in Apex that a few players noticed that seemed to reveal some secrets that maybe the devs were testing a long time ago, or maybe that they're still currently testing for a future update, and that is this glitch that allowed you to upgrade your Evo Shield past red. So this glitch has now been patched, but at the time, you could drop your Evo Shield as a controller legend, and it would slowly upgrade, and then you pick it back up, and then you could drop it in the zone again, and it would upgrade, and you could pick it back up, and you could do this all the way to red armor, and then there was a weird step where if you did this three more times, your armor would appear as a new green Evo Shield, a green rarity of armor. I don't know about you, but I have never seen this in Apex Legends, and if you actually read the description, it said that this green armor had 175 health. And it's not like this glitch would have just created a whole new armor system that wasn't in the game already. This green Evo Shield must have already been in the game file somewhere, and doing this glitch was able to retrieve it and actually spawn it in the game. Special level 5 green armor, 175 extra shields is absolutely crazy, but why is this in the game? The most likely outcome is that this was just the developer messing around, seeing if it would work having Evo shields that go past red. It's weird that it's a jump straight to 175 though. It could also be code from the devs testing a new LTM, where you can infinitely upgrade your armor. I actually made a video in the past where I created armor that wouldn't stop leveling up, and that was a lot of fun, and it would make for a pretty cool LTM in my opinion. Or there's a chance that the developers slipped up, and this is something they're planning for the future. Now personally, I think an Evo Shield this strong wouldn't be balanced in Apex, but maybe as a special Legends ability? Who really knows? It's weird, but it's cool. And that makes you think, what other glitches might be out there that people haven't discovered that will reveal some hidden secrets in Apex? But another thing that the developers are keeping secret is why on earth they don't want duos in the game. It's been months since we've had duos as a standard mode in Apex, and now finally we are getting back, but if you actually read the patch notes of the mid-season update, you'll see that Duos is only coming back until the end of Shockwave, meaning we'll only have 41 days to play Duos, and then seemingly it will be gone again. And Apex did make a post saying, woo, Duos is back, but they didn't actually explain why it's been gone for so long. Do the developers no longer like Duos? In my opinion, it was one of the best modes in Apex, and it's the most feasible for a lot of people who can only play with one of their friends at a time, and in duos, you just get the most synergy. And the lack of communication about duos is probably what's making me feel really weird about Apex. What is going to happen down the line? Is duos going to be gone? Will something replace it? Maybe arenas will come back and replace it, as it was confirmed they had plans to bring arenas back to Apex Legends between the end of 2024 and 2025. But let me know in the comments, do you want duos to stay, or would you be happy with it going? Because at this rate, it seems like it might be leaving for for good. And speaking of game modes, we were also supposed to be getting a ranked rumble, but we didn't. It seems they really want to make this tournament style work, but they just can't get it right as the ranked rumble has also been postponed, and who knows when we're going to be getting that. So in the latest updates, they're clearly trying to take Apex in some kind of direction, but nothing seems to stick. Like the Rumble tournaments, they're a cool idea, but they just don't really work because it mixes you with other people that aren't queuing with Rumble active, and the whole system is quite confusing. And in my opinion, I think tournaments should be in Apex, but as a separate mode, like in Rocket League, for example. At set times every day, there are tournaments that you can join and play and earn rewards. It's that simple. A tournament mode that's active every day would be great. These limited time rumble events that most players don't even know about on the way to go in my opinion. But with rumble being postponed, I think we might see some updates to this pretty soon. But it's not just gameplay updates that have been weird lately. Cosmetics too. We've not had a new legend heirloom for a year now. And in the mid-season update, we got a new universal heirloom again. We've already had leaks of the Newcastle heirloom, but we were surprised to find out that we're getting another universal heirloom instead of a unique legend heirloom. And once again, this 
this universal heirloom will have upgrades that you can pay for, like the holographic kill counter, which reacts to your kills and adds these holographic spikes to the blade and a crown symbol if you become the kill leader. It's cool and all, but players have been asking for new legend heirlooms for a year now, and they just keep ignoring us. But onto a brighter note, one of the more exciting, crazier updates I'm looking forward to is the potential Ash rework. There's been quite a stir recently in the Apex community about a potential Ash rework. The devs even touched upon it in the past, saying they do know that changes need to take place with some of Ash's abilities, and we did see some small changes, like allowing her tactical to be an offhand ability. But it goes without saying, the community still thinks an Ash rework is needed. Her ultimate just seems really weak, and it needs changing. And I think one of the more positive potential future updates is going to be the much-needed Ash rework. And the devs may have touched up on this in the lore in the brand new story chapter, where you can see Ash having inner conflict with Ashley Reed, the much nicer, more emotional, sympathetic side that's trapped inside the simulacrum. Stop! Haven't we caused enough pain? If she goes back and changes the past, what do you think happens to me? She wants to see Newton. <laughs> we stole that from her. You weak imbecile. Stop this. She abandoned him. Please. Uh, enough! Let go! Let go! go. I think just the artwork alone looks really cool of Ash arguing with herself, but things are ramping up lore-wise for Ash as she's become a lot more unstable, and just like they did with Revenant Reborn, I think it'll be pretty easy to merge a rework with the lore and have the other side of Ash come out more in her new set of abilities. But since we haven't had any leaks to do with a potential Ash rework, I definitely think we're still a pretty long way away from this. But nonetheless, it's a big update to look forward to and keep an eye out for more teasers that might suggest this. Anyway, Apex might be due for an even crazier update sometime in the future because you might have also caught wind of some rumors coming from inside sources such as playtesters revealing that the devs are planning a new looting system in Battle Royale that removes weapons and attachments from ground loot and allows you to choose a weapon loadout to spawn in with that progressively evolves throughout the game giving you better attachments for your weapon, let's say as you deal damage and upgrade your Evo, which is absolutely crazy to think the developers are even considering this. Imagine dropping into a battle royale game and you don't even have to find loot and find attachments. You just spawn in with a weapon loadout and that's it. For the whole game, you just play with that weapon loadout. Maybe you can loot death boxes or craft new weapons, but not looting in Apex just sounds diabolical. But I think with everything going on in Apex, them trying to change the game completely, removing duos without saying anything, not giving us new legend heirlooms, and delaying the ranked rumble tournaments, I wouldn't put it past them to release a crazy update like this, but rumors suggest this won't be happening until around season 25, if it ever does happen. So let me know what you think of Apex right now. Would you like to see green Evo shields and no loot in the game in these crazy updates, or do you like Apex how it used to be? I think I know which one I'd be picking.